Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. In a previous video about the site map or site tree tool, I showed you how to create a site map for your visitors on your website. And in that demonstration, I created a page in my uh, project called Sitemap. I'm going to open up that page in this demo right now. Let me move the camera over so you can see my site manager. Here are the pages in this website. So in the last video, I created a page called Sitemap. I'm going to double click on it, open it up so you can review that. Now, what we did in that video was we created what's called a site tree or a site map. And the purpose of this is for your visitors just to have more navigation options. As your site grows and you get a lot of pages or a lot of child pages or sub pages, a site map can be really practical for your visitors. And that was easy to do with just the site tree tool. So you can watch that video if you missed it and it shows you how to create this, this part right here very, very simply. But in this video, I'm going to talk about a different kind of sitemap, and probably one that's more important. The sitemap I want to show you is one that your visitors actually will never see. In fact, you may never see it unless you want to, but it is important because Google will see it. It will help you rank better uh, in the search engines if you have a sitemap in a particular format called an XML file. And 90 Second Website Builder makes it very simple to do so. Here's how you do it. Once your website is complete and you have all your pages where they're going to be, you can generate a sitemap, an XML sitemap. Here's how you do it. You go up to the tools, you pull down to sitemap, make sure your URL is correct, and click OK. That's literally all it takes to create this special file that Google wants to see on your website. Now what happens is when I click OK, I've just created an XML file, and when I publish my website, that file is going to be on my web hosting account at mydomain.com forward slash sitemap.xml. Now, why is that important to know? Because you'll never see it, and your visitors will never see it. Google will be looking for it. But you need to know that address because you're going to need to tell Google about it. So it's easy to generate this sitemap for your search engine optimization, but the next step is to go to Google and tell them about it. And here's how you do that. In fact, if you go to Google and just Google the phrase, submit Google sitemap, you'll see what you need to do. You need to go to a place called the Webmaster Tools. Now, if you don't have a Google account, you'll need one. It's easy to get. If you have a Gmail account, then you have a Google account. So you'll need to sign into your Google account and you'll need to go to the Webmaster Tools. That's this particular part of the Google interface where you'll be able to add a website and tell Google where that sitemap is. And when you do, you'll be telling Google your domain forward slash sitemap.xml. And then you're done. That's all there is to it. So in 90 Second Website Builder, you create the sitemap with this menu up here. Then you go to your Webmaster Tools account and you tell Google that you have one. And they'll locate it and it will give you sort of points, so to speak, with Google ranking. Now, you'll never need to see that sitemap, but in case you're curious, I'll show you what that looks like. When you publish your website to the web server, in fact, in this case, if I was to publish this website that we've been using as a demonstration, here's what the files would look like on the server. Right now, I've just published them to my desktop so we can look at them. Here's, you know, so here's the home page. And here were all the Im here's where all the images would be stored, etc. This file right here, you'll notice, is an XML document. It's not an HTML document or a PHP document. It's XML. That's the file Google's looking for. And it's just a bunch of code. And we can look at it in a, in a text editor so you can see what it looks like. Not that you even need to do this or would ever need to know, but for those of you who are curious, this is what an XML sitemap looks like. It basically tells Google the domain name, the location, the domain name, the last time it was modified, and uh, how often to check for this, and and some other information. So, so this is what is created when you click that button, and that's what Google's looking for. Just a great trick for you to know to increase your search engine rankings. Now, if you want to have some say in how that sitemap is generated, you can do some editing on a page-by-page -page basis. There are some settings that you can use to set the frequency, how, how often the page has changed, and the priority level of this page in your website. But if you don't know how to do this, you don't really need to. You can, ignore, you can ignore that and leave the default settings, and you should be fine. The important thing is to make sure that you've created your XML file, uploaded it to your server, and then go to your Google Webmaster Tools account, tell Google about your sitemap, and they'll give you a thumbs up.